Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul, East X Twitch. I am joined on mic tonight by Tyler. Hello. And we are going to play Catherine for Xbox 360, which is thankfully backwards compatible on Xbox One. So Tyler, I understand that you hate Catherine, but you are gearing up to love it when it comes to PlayStation 4. Uh, half, half of that is true. <laughs> so... There is going to be an enhanced PlayStation 4 version with, what, extra content or something in both English I think there's and Japanese like a whole, I think there's like a third Catherine or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I don't know if that means like a whole different story or if just story scenes happen differently. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Probably yeah. be a bigger mess than it already is, which is pretty big. <laughs> Interesting. Some It'll, people really love this game. Yeah, they do. I don't know why. But, you know, some people make weird decisions in life. You have to you have to accept everyone equally. Some folks will never lose a toe, and then again, some folks will. Some folks will. <laughs> Sir Khalid got a good deal on it. I think I was it free with games with gold. I think I already owned it though before that. I may have bought it for like five dollars on sale once. Was it ever on? It's been it's been cheap a lot. Atlas puts their games on sale a lot. Yeah, which is a good thing. And I mean, and it's an ancient game too. A what game? Asian? It's just old, ancient. Oh, ancient. It is Asian too, but... <laughs> I mean, that's a fair reason for putting it on sale for low prices, but it's really been right. out quite a while. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, but Mitch. Catherine has some really cool Valentine's cards. What the heck? I forgot yeah, about the it? weird like sheep guys. Digital Valentine's cards or something? I believe so, but you can actually print them there if you want. Oh, okay. This game's got some nice, bizarre imagery. Tons of it. Enjoy our story. Configuration. What do we got? Camera control normal. Oh, look, they even have reverse for people with inverted genitals. Inverted genitals are people, too. <laughs> Something like that. Uh oh, there's some blood. Be careful, guys. So Babel is the... Is that the multiplayer mode? Uh, isn't Babel the tower mode? But isn't that also online multiplayer? Oh, I have no idea. I believe it is. I don't know. I played it like a thousand years ago. Should I play easy or normal? Uh, easy. Easy as it is. Yeah, you know, I would like some easiness after what I just had to play through. Mitch says this game is a nothing burger, so he's not crazy about it. But he doesn't hate it, I think. What the heck? Really weird cartoon intro. Yeah, there's like 40 different art styles in this game. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Sure, have Mitch. You ever, have you ever played it or not? Oh. No, never have. I always yeah, wanted to. You go down to like a bar and chat with people, and then like you go ah. have, a, have a dream segment. Golden Playhouse. Ah. What is wrong with her hair? Whoa. It has its own physics. <laughs> well, I don't have to read this out loud. She's speaking it. Oh, no, that's right. Everything is spoken, I think. Wait, maybe not. I can't remember. Don't you get, like, text messages on your phone or something? Yeah. Ah, I don't want to die in real life. What happened to Platinum Ace Trick? <gasps> no, it is not, but it does have some adult themes. Yeah, has it been on the games called? I thought it was. I also thought it was, but who knows. If you're an Xbox user and you don't own this game by now, you must not have wanted it, you know? Right. It has definitely been five dollars multiple times. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Bob Jones says it's a bloody game. This one? I don't, yeah, I don't believe him. I don't think so. It does have some wonderful remember. artwork. Like, I mean, I think if you get crushed, it can be graphic. Like, in the puzzles and stuff, but it's not too bad. Look at yeah, all this artwork. animation. Artwork's good, for sure. Hey, Dude's got weird go? eyes. Snap out of it. Uh, so far, all spoken. Sure. Aw. Icky can't buy the digital edition. Why not? Icky, if you had a PlayStation 4, Icky, you could uh -oh. just get it on PlayStation 4. But no, also, they just released it on Steam, so I bet Icky could get that version. He does look kind of like a young Doctor Who. Interesting music. I bet this video is going to get flagged on YouTube. That's happened a few times lately. To me. It happened when I was doing that platformer, um, Amazing Princess Sarah, that got flagged. And one of my fun- music that's just in the game? Yes! It's like, what the heck? That It's not even lyrical or anything. And there was a game- Oh yeah, when we streamed Tales of- What's the Tales game I streamed? Asperia. Yeah, how do I not even know that? I just reviewed it a couple weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, that one on Twitch got flagged, so like it's automatically muted. And, uh, nice. yeah, very obnoxious. Yeah, and, and there was another one. Ah! Oh, whoops. I accidentally hit the, the little rotating volume wheel on my headset. It's like just bumping against your shirt. It can go up or down. Which is silly. Anyway, we streamed a game called Under Night in Birth or something like that. A, an old fighting game that got released on PS4. And that got flagged <laughs> recently. Like, just a few days ago. But they released... Yeah, you... It's silly. Yeah, YouTube's a jerk. Yeah, you have to put up with a lot. Tales of Vesperia. Now that's a good game. I only wish I had it on Xbox, because that's what I'd rather play it on. But, oh well. Nah, it belongs on PlayStation. <laughs> it belongs on both, dang it. I mean, it's on both. Okay. Oh, wait, it, it was right. on 360 originally, huh? Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Help me, is anyone out here? Hurry up and climb. Push and, push and pull puzzles or blocks or some stupid stuff like that. Oh, you wouldn't have liked the Game Boy then, Tyler, because Game Boy had a lot of games like that, such as Quirk the Chilled Tomato. Like, I had, like, regular block, like, Lolo and stuff, but this is, like, super annoying block puzzles. Like, crazy annoying blocks. Use the D-pad to move and climb. Okay, sure. So far, so good, Tyler. But you're on easy. Move the blocks to make a path. You told me to play on easy. I know, because I didn't even beat it on normal, because it sucks. <laughs> okay. You can undo your last move by pressing back. That's yeah, nice. you're also on the first level. I quit about like level seven or eight, I think. I don't. Okay, there we go. That's all I had to do, right? Yeah. So far, so good. Ah. Movement's a little funky. Is that what why you didn't like Tyler the movement? One of the many, many, many things, yeah. But yeah, the movement sucks too. Yeah, it actually does a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, it's uh, it's neat looking. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Collapse. Try pulling a block to make some footing. Okay. Um. So far, so good. Do they mean pull a block out like that? Ah, that makes you fall. Oh, I see. You can climb on the side too. You didn't warn me about that. Oh, um, I didn't remember that part. <laughs> Um, so the blocks can float a little bit. Oh, 
Alright. I could see finding this a little overly complicated. Yeah, and it doesn't really mesh with what the rest of the game is. It, you don't want to do this in between your stupid story segments. That's fair, Tyler. It's just like two completely different genres mixed together for no, no apparent reason. So what about these? Why is it playing creepy music? How is it not falling? I don't like the music. Use the edges to create stairways. I don't want to do that. You have to do all sorts of dumb stuff. And then it, like, it won't let you play either. I mean, I know it's going to tutorial, but it like stops. Uh oh. Good voice acting. There we go. I beat the level in your face, Tyler. Woohoo. Definitely odd. Dude's in his boxer shorts and he has ram horns for some reason. Ah, what's happening now? Great escape, you survived. Great for great escapes. I got lots of money. Game is just odd. Gold prize. You got the gold prize. Well, where's my achievement? There it is. Reminds me of the trophies in Bayonetta. You get like, how do good you do in the comp? Hmm. Waking up in Vincent's wow. room. But I mean, the story is seriously intriguing. It is. It gets repetitive, I thought. Oh, yeah? It's like it's too long, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's such a... He's just such a... Wuss. <laughs> Not too uncommon in Japanese stories. Yeah, it's like, how does this wussy, dumb dude have two hot girlfriends? Why did he... It looked like he was reaching into his pants. What was that all about? I don't know what's going on. She's in now he's mad at his bed. <laughs> Mostly the pillow is what pissed him off. <laughs> he's a smoker, too. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. And gross. And you stink if you do it. No offense to our viewers who might smoke. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Oh, I have to tell my students stuff like that, Tyler, because you have to try to steer them in the right direction. Yeah, but they'll look cooler if they smoke. <laughs> I never thought so, but no. a lot of people feel differently. These days, a lot of the kids, unfortunately, including, you know, some that I've met, are into the, uh, the jewels or whatever they're called. The vaping thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's way more popular now. Vaping is still gross. Yeah, but at least it smells better. Yes, it does. That's true. But it does look like you sucking on a robot penis. <laughs> so it does. And it makes an unpleasant sound. An unpleasant what? It cut out. From sound. Me. Yeah, it does make a weird sound. Like, whenever I'm playing online with somebody who's vaping, it sounds like they're, you know, hitting a bong. <laughs> Maybe they are just getting a bong. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you. the sounds to me are indistinguishable, but I'm no expert on either of those things, so... All right, Sir Khalid. You square. <laughs> Apparently so. I, I do like to remind my students. I mean, like, the students would be like, they'll make a little joke about me, like, doing weed or something, and I always enjoy telling them how I've never done any drugs, period. Which not a lot of adults can say. It is a bit square, I know. Sorry, Tyler, I didn't have an oppressive, like, state church to rebel against here in Texas. <laughs> yeah, the 
The counterculture here is just as bad as the culture. It's pretty awful. <laughs> Dang. For, for every annoying Mormon, there's an annoying person that's so, like, anti-Mormon that... <laughs> Aw. Uh, Army of Toasters, that's a good question. No, I've never done any illegal drugs. I do consume adult beverages, and I do drink caffeine. Energy drinks. And, and he takes uh, prescription drugs sometimes for certain ED related issues. Uh, take away the ED part, and that would be a true sentence. Just throw that out there. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Tyler. Oh, this is neat looking. I didn't tell them what it was for. They can, they can guess what ED stands for. Oh, yeah, real vague. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not some kind of nut who's opposed to medications, and I do know people like that. I think it's kind of zany myself. Yeah, I mean, I try not to rely on medication, but if, like, if I have a headache, I'm going to take some uh, Excedrin. Yeah, and if you have a cold, I wanna, you should... I want to not feel like... Yeah. Exactly. Like, what do you... What is the real benefit to not solving a problem that you experience? I right. don't see it. I mean, you can make the argument that you don't want your body having to do that... Like, I don't generally take cold medicine so when I have a cold. Really? Um, yeah, but because cold medicine doesn't do anything to cure you, per se. It just helps alleviate the symptoms. That is true. Um, but So I don't take it very often. I will if I have a real bad cold, for sure. Yeah, that's how my colds usually are. Like, I never have a cold where I don't feel like I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, okay, yeah, mine are pretty mild. And I do take allergy medication. Hmm. Yes, because uh, allergies can be rough. Yeah. Good, Icky, good. Yeah, poor Icky's had his, his share of health problems since the stream started. Since I've oh, known him. Icky. Yeah. It's that Malaysian water. <laughs> Probably so. And all the, I don't know, raw fish he eats. Yeah, Paul is dead? Po mercury poisoning. <laughs> very sad. Very sad indeed. Oh. He says oh. his plain water can kick your plain water's butt, Tyler. He sounds like Donald Trump, <laughs> President of Malaysia. The best plain water. We'll have the best plain water in the world. <laughs> We're not no corrupt at all. No other water will match our plain water. <laughs> Good luck, full of swag. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't enjoy drinking my local tap water. Like, I, I will, like, take a sip of it when I get up to go to the bathroom and stuff like that. But I wouldn't drink a whole glass of it unless I had to. Of what? Tap water? I yeah. drink tap water all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, different areas have different qualities of tap water, right? They do. They do. Yeah, yeah that's all I drink. I, I have, like, a big uh, pitcher in the fridge, which so I just set up and put water in it so I can have nice cold water. It doesn't have a filter or anything? Nah, I could get one, but nah. I mean, that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff in the water is good for you anyway. It's just like <laughs> minerals and iron and stuff. Generally, yeah, our water just doesn't taste very good. Yeah, I know mild obstruction. This game is actually like cutting me to the to my core, you know. Like, oof. It'll be the stream's new favorite game. Oh. Yeah, like with, like with basically every Japanese game I've ever played, there's way too much like exposition. In general, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although like, yes, I'm. I mean, I'm talking to you instead of paying attention to it, but. Right. Yeah. It's not a good. It's not a good scene. Like if you're gonna want to talk to other people and play <laughs> it for the first time. Because you right definitely on. have to pay way, way, way too much attention to the dialogue and stuff to actually get the full. Fair point. And Stotch, that's spooky. You might be right, though. What is the allure? Well, first of all, it has, like, this really bizarro art. This great artwork, a bizarro art and story and atmosphere. I think those are the main selling points. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely not the puzzle gameplay. <laughs> 
And I'm checking my phone. Checking in. Catherine with a K. Yeah, because there's two different Catherines, right? One with a C and one with a K. Yeah. And I think it actually deals with, like, actual serious themes, you know? Like, the story is about something on a metaphorical level. And people love that about Braid. Yeah, but, but Braid's good. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Braid's story is stupid, but uh, um, you know, in my opinion. I, I like the surf story, like the, the books with all the the bullcrap that's like in between each level that they expect you to read with like all the you know I am so smart words in them um that's awful that's yes yeah I hated that that's super pretentious exactly it's the dude thinking he's it's mental uh m word you know yeah like, yeah it's a uh, um to me it's like and I think we talked about it before like he made this game too much to appeal to him like it doesn't appeal to a mass audience it all makes sense to him probably but it doesn't translate to like everyone it's too personal agreed would be my guess but yeah i i stopped reading the actual books and braid like no that's i just run past those sections for sure <laughs> yeah although the game itself is fun you're right yeah i love the puzzle and braid i think they're really clever and it's it was a time when puzzle games were around much because digital indie games are just starting again because you couldn't put out like a 60 dollars puzzle game on playstation 2 like no <laughs> one ever bought it very true so but then the xbox one and steam came along and all of a sudden hey here's your 20 dollars puzzle game and sometimes it goes yeah. on sale for 10 or 5 so yep exactly yeah it brought back all these genres that were mostly dead the little bit simpler genre that, which is uh, pretty cool it is now there's now it's probably well way oversaturated but it was cool for a time yeah, like, I would rather play a straight platformer or an action platformer or whatever than a puzzle platformer. Like, over the years of our streaming, I've played enough puzzle platformers. But, yeah, you know, like every now. Platforms. I mean, they're, they are, they, they're not very them. relaxing games. Right, exactly. That's probably it. They stress your brain a lot more than a straight platformer does. Yeah, I mean, we've streamed Kalimba and... Um, God, yeah, that... I'm sad that one never got ported to PlayStation. I thought oh. What's the one where all the characters are like little blocks and it has really good narration? Thomas was alone. Yeah, Thomas was alone. I quite like that one. That one's really easy. That's like. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining about Thomas was alone. I mean, I, I really do like it. Yeah, I, I liked it. It was okay. It was too easy for my taste. It was we, cool. There was Stealth Inc. too. We uh, both played um, that one. Um, yes, right? that one's a lot harder. Yeah, Definitely. that's a. Like, I mean, your reward for solving a puzzle is another puzzle. Like, so you have to be in the... Yeah, because... Puzzling. More and more of that stuff. Yep. Yeah, exactly, because the next level you unlock is just going to be a slight puzzle, probably. So you can turn some titles on and off, and it looks like you may be able... You can actually skip the story stuff, too, if you didn't want to see it. I mean, I kind of do want to see it, but on the other hand, maybe we should play another level. Before we end the stream. Sorry, guys. I know everybody was tuning in for the story. Is Brian still with us? Brian hasn't said a whole lot about this game. I would think he would have some opinions. Human Brian, are you around? Second level. I bet you. I bet you push and pull blocks. Well, I sure hope so, Tyler. Let's do this. We'll do one more puzzle level and then we'll call it quits. And I appreciate everybody bearing with me having to end the mainstream a little early. But I think it's all worked out for the best. I'm glad to finally have experienced Catherine, even if I'm probably not going to keep playing it. That's fine, Mogbox. Thank you for joining us tonight. Who all want to code tonight? Uh, I don't know. Philosophy, or yeah, philosophy. He wanted code. Yeah, philosophy is a mystery. You know, he doesn't like us to know too much about him. I think Mitch wanted code. Mitch. Oh, my Mitch deserves it. Way to go, my Mitch. I don't like this music. 
It's like this is CNN. That's what that that fanfare sounds like. Several types of blogs. Hey. Super hey. Super caution. All right. Oh, congratulations, Smogbox. I hope her kids will do better at that game than I did. Cause <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's the day after your birthday. Well, I hope you had a great birthday, my Mitch. Yeah, happy birthday, Mitch. You don't know where I am. Happy I know belated that. birthday. Yeah, did you get anything cool for your birthday? Besides, you know, stuff from us? Uh oh, that wasn't the right move. I think I may have just made it unbeatable. Yeah, okay. So, do or don't do that. I like the part where I get money. Just getting money is fun. <laughs> money and cake. Are you going to buy anything fun with the money then? More cake. Try looking around. Oh, you can use the right stick to look around. Look at that. Look at that goofy looking 360 controller. Yes. Very goofy, that ugly detail. The white guy. one. The white one's so ugly. The black one looks so good. <laughs> You think so? I don't know. I don't know. You're breaking up, Tyler. You gotta get that headset fixed. I don't think it's. I don't think it's my headset. I think me breaking up is, but you've been breaking up all night for mine, so I don't think that's mine. Breaking up is hard to do, Tyler. It is, but I'll be right back in one second. Okay. Let's try this. I do, you know, like, I'm not crazy about this puzzle gameplay. Not that I hate it, but I'm not crazy about it. But I do okay, like the, the way this game looks, Tyler, is quite nice. Yeah. You don't, I don't know. I just, I dig it. Oops. That's my right as an American citizen, Tyler. Let's try pushing this over here. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm get shoes is my, is my... Who's? Yeah, who is everyone? The way the sound gets all urgent when you get right to the end, I mean, the closer to the end you get, also is stressful. Okay, well, I prescribe, I mean, what I recommend is that you buy a game. If you got enough money to buy a game, Limage. And if you do buy a game, then we all want to hear what you end up buying. You can tell us in Discord, and maybe next week's stream. I mean, Jump Force isn't the only game coming out next week. But by the way, everybody, I pre-ordered Jump Force on Xbox One, so if anybody else gets it on Xbox One, then we can play together during next week's pre-stream, and that would be really cool. This game reminds me of that of Let It Die for PS4 also. I mean, like, it's a different atmosphere, but it's a little bit similar. Yes! I mean, I recommend that he buy Jump Force, but if he's not interested in Jump Force, then I understand. It's not for everybody. So, Tyler, besides this recent bungee jumping, have you ever bungee jumped before? <laughs> we lost Tyler. That's not good. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. Well, that's a real shame, but there is also Crackdown 3, although you might have Game Pass, in which case you wouldn't need it. And okay. there's some other Can stuff you hear me now? There. Yes. You sound like a girl. Cool. Um... Does, is Discord uh, chat more resource intensive than Skype would be? I didn't think so. I mean, not the way Bob Jones and Brian talk about it. But who knows? Oh, he's got Game Pass, so he doesn't have to buy Crackdown 3. He can play it for free when it comes out. Nice. 
Ah, this clock chiming is really annoying. Stop it. I can save and talk with other sheep. Why don't I try that? <laughs> oh, and now we have 3D movement instead of that like jumpy puzzle game movement. Are you are you in the? I had to close the stream. Are you in the bar area? I'm in the, a landing area where you can walk around and talk to sheep. Hmm. You don't remember them? I don't. Let me see if I can get the stream back up. <laughs> I'm sorry you're having problems, Tyler. Yeah. I mean, my computer is ancient. I should have tried it on my other laptop. Maybe I'll bring my work laptop home next week again and see if it like actually runs smoothly and see if it's just a computer issue. That'd be neat. If it worked, I mean. Yeah. But most weeks, your performance is fine, so who knows? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so that sheep wants to die. This game is very strange. Very strange. I'll tell him to shut up. Oh, it leaned me towards bad because there's a morality system. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and save and game? quit. It is a really weird game. <laughs> I know this game. Yeah, I mean, they're interesting. So, guys, we've been playing Catherine on Xbox 360 slash Xbox One. Coming soon to PlayStation 4. Very interesting. Tyler, thank you for being a great co-host tonight. Yep, happy to be here. And Icky, thank you for running the contest tonight and doing great at it. Great hanging out with all of you. Happy birthday once again, Emmett, uh, Mo Mitch. I can't say M Mitch. That doesn't sound right. It's got to be Mo Mitch. Uh, but anyway, I love all you guys. I look forward to hanging out with you next week. And whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate it. See you guys. That ought to hold the little SOBs. That's weird. You too, Sir Kelly. Did anybody you know when a PlayStation code turns? I think one of the winners was Miles. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, wow, I didn't even know you did that as well. Uh, I don't know. I think, was, I think he's one of the ones who did. It's great seeing you, No Time for Games. We're so glad to have you back. Have I told you that enough yet? Jono! I get to see Jono whenever Brownmeister streams, and I get to catch it, because Jono always tunes into him. <laughs>